watched the last vlog, you'll see that we've just left Cum Martin and we went to the Wildlife and Dinosaur Park, which fan was fantastic. So make sure you check that vlog out if you've got little ones who like dinosaurs um, and like zoos and things like that. So we are about 40 minutes drive now to Biddeford. could see yourself just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you you don't even notice should have told you straight away you don't have to be afraid bell tent we're in the tawny bell tent and um, there's two bell tents here and a cabin so chris the guy um, met us at the car park we walked down he showed us a around like how to use the eco loo and what facilities and stuff we've got for the barbecue etc and the fire pit he was really really nice actually he was he was funny with noah um they were having a good old little chit chat on the way down um so yeah this is it we've got little picnic bench over here which is lovely actually um we sat right over like a little stream um and then if i just zoom you around Hiya. you can just see how remote it is there's literally nobody about this is our eco loo and there is a shower which you have to fill up the water yourself and like hose yourself down um, so probably give that one a miss. I got some wet wipes. We'll have a wet wipe wash, I think. Um, this is our bell tent. Um, so it's a really, really fair size, actually. It's, let me just spin you around. It's a really good size. Um, just take off my wellies before I go in. Right, so just show you around inside wellies are off so there's some track and trace stuff there's um a tawny bell tent information book here there's some hot water bottles um like an insulated mat this is our bed which probably all three of us will sleep in because i can't imagine noah's going to sleep on his own in here tonight there, let me just put this down there's some little bedside tables each side um i think these are the like pull out beds so we did sleep i think it said i'm not sure whether it's four or six it must be four because two in the double bed and then these are like the pull out beds with blankets this is nice Noah, isn't it oh a little owl a little owl clock wow but as you can see, it's a really, really good size. It's really high. Um, there's mosquito nets on all of the sides there. And obviously one, a big one on the front. Um, there's a little light here. Do you like it in here? It's nice, isn't it? And then if we just go back outside, got a table and chairs 
and another chair there. Um, so yeah, we'll probably sit out by here and have our food. Paul's just got the barbecue on. There's a little um, bench there, two stools and a pit. So the guy said, if we just go up the road, there are um, logs and kindling and stuff. So we can have one bag free, but then it's a five or a bag after that, which is absolutely fine. Don't touch that fire, mind. There's a rotary line if you did want to wash or dry any clothes. Barbecue. And Noah's going to mess with if I don't grab him. Don't No, don't put that bug in there. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. This is our little kitchen. So, yeah, we're in the Tawny Bell tent. Fire extinguisher there. Outdoor tap. There's some buckets. Um, there's a bucket there for all the ash. What are these buckets, Paul? Oh, recycling, recycling bags. Yeah, recycling buckets. Gas. All of our utensils under the kettle and a hob. Gas a hob. Mm. And a big cool box. So, everything you need, yeah. Just pan and brush. I think in the night we can put these on as well, can we? All the little fairy lights for. Put all the fairy lights on in the night, it's going to look like super pretty. And I'm not sure if you can see it just around there. I haven't got my wellies on, so I'm not going to go out on this mud. But there's a hammock just by there, which I'm sure Noah's going to see soon. Um, I think the main road is just up there because when the guy um, left he went just up that pathway and then was picked up by a car so I think it's not far from the main road but it does look really really secluded it's nice isn't it? Mm -hmm. sweep and brush there everything you need here isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh look at that a bottle opener as well you can see it, it's all bluey the bottle opener just attached to the um, wood by there. Yeah, so lash. I'm not sure what that is hanging on there. I don't think that's ours. Oh, are you putting your octopus to bed? <laughs> Oh, you have a little rest then. We've brought um, some fillet sticks for tonight. We've, we've brought lots of bits with us actually. Um, so we're gonna have fillet sticks and um, some salad. I'll show you that when we have it though. Oh, it's cute, yeah, I love it. It wasn't too much either, I think it was. I can't remember the exact price, but it wasn't much. We're only here for one night. Um, and I found it just directly on the um, Owl Valley glamping site. Weather's holding out for us. It's overcast as you can see, but yeah, at least it's not raining. Because that rain earlier was just going to do my eyebrows in. So I can't be that. Yes, Noah's dropped half of his fruit on the floor. We've just sat down to have tea, haven't we? On the bench by the little stream. Noah's just got some satays and some fruit and a couple of crisps, haven't you? And we've got some salad, stuffed peppers, Morrison salad bar, just a little bit of everything. Paul's made a potato salad, which is banging, and fillet steak. Yum. It is so, so peaceful here. Aside from Noah just being a kid, it's literally just calm. Um, we've sat and had our dinner just on the bench by the stream, which was absolutely lovely. Um, I just filled up the kettle now um, and got the bowl out to wash up. Um, but I just want to show you, where is it? Oh, there. 
even like the Skyrim pads are eco-friendly so I just love that um, I'm gonna chill now for the night just enjoy the peace and quiet we've got no mobile phone signal at all no no Wi-Fi obviously no data here um, so do you know what it's a really really nice digital detox and we're just gonna enjoy it He's just started hammering down. <laughs> Noah's made a run for it. <laughs> I'm still stuck here. Still waiting for the kettle to boil. These things take ages. I'm literally going to just fill it up, I think. And um, yeah, just have. Can you hear the rain? Oh, wow. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> just gone into our pyjamas and we're having cookies. Noah's, oh no, you're breaking them. Noah's dishing out the cookies but crumbling them all in the process. Mm. I say you eat the crumbs, babe. Mm. Oh, wow, thank you very much. They look delicious. They're like those big chocolate chip cookies. Oh, Oh, yummy. They're nice, aren't they? We've just brought all of our stuff in because it's absolutely hammering down outside. And yeah, just in our pyjamas. Well, me and Noah are in our pyjamas. We're just going to chill now for the night. We've got the switch. So you're going to have a little go on the switch? that's a yeah <coughs> have a little go on the switch and just have a chill is there it's nice here i like it it's nice and chill it's really calming it's quiet other than noah running around screaming we're quite far from the next bell tent i think so that's good because hopefully they won't hear him um because it'd be nothing worse with it than coming away for a quiet one and having a screaming kid next to you in a tent You were a noisy boy. You were no screaming. Who's this on your pajamas? Peppa. Who is it? Peppa. It's not. It's, not. <laughs> it's George. No, it's Daddy Pig. It's George Pig and his dinosaur. You've seen dinosaurs today, didn't you? <laughs> and it's got dinosaurs on the on the pajama bottoms. Yeah. Triceratops. Yeah, the so Triceratops and George's dinosaur. Um, we got them from Morrison's, didn't we? George. George. A piece of him. <laughs> we still. Need, <coughs> we still need to take you to Peppa Pig World, don't we? He's being daft. <laughs> Do you want to play Mario? <gasps> Mario? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is where he'll probably sleep. Right in the middle of us. This is what tends to happen most nights, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Right in the middle of us. I'll be hanging off this end. Paul will be hanging off that end. And he'll be spread out in the middle. Won't he? Lengthways. Lengthways, yeah. <laughs> Horizontally spread out with us two hanging off the end. <laughs> up sizes. Change sizes? Oh. From happy to sad? Yeah. Wow. That's cool. That is cool. Oh. You're a special octopus. Yeah, I am. What is your name? Octopussy. <laughs> 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 
Get off, octopus. <laughs> <laughs> now wash him off. Yes. Ow! No one's, no one's called an octopus. Octopussy. <laughs> says he's gonna wash him off. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terror. Yeah, I am. Oh, God, you are funny, little boy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Ow, ah. Oh, my days. <laughs> That's me and Yeah. I'll take it off. Now it's good. I don't know. So we've literally been out all day with him. It's what time is it? Eight o'clock? Probably about quarter past eight. And he's just still wired. He's like a bottle of pop, isn't he? Yeah. But he's like this every day. He never ever gets tired. He's just refueling now. you got for breakfast? Sausage sandwiches and toffee waffles. Sausage waffles? Sausage waffles. <laughs> <laughs> and the be what's the best bit about camping? Giant mugs of coffee. Trying to um, do my makeup just with my phone camera because I forgot to bring a mirror so it's a bit of a nightmare. Glamping life though. Should have brought the mirror. Probably look like a right uh, clown later when I get out and realise that it's all patchy because you just can't do it like this. this. But here we go. Bed, I don't know. You can see there. Just a make do um, inside washing line. It was raining last night and my top was soaked. So I just tied it up inside. So it's probably going to be all misshapen now as well 
Who doesn't love a bit of glamping now? I love it. Take it back to your roots, isn't it? And oh, thank you. A bit of cookie off nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really sure how my makeup's going to come out doing it like this, but there we go. Say lovey. <laughs> Can't look any worse than me yesterday with the summer dress on and sandals and Paul's hat. If you didn't see that, that's in the previous vlog when we went to Cool Martin. I just looked like a right bellend. But do you know what? These brows cost me 350 quid, so I don't even care. I don't even care how stupid I looked. What is it? What is it? That is a thing that Dad told me. What is it? A hornet. Yes. A hornet's dangerous? Yeah. You are the bug expert. Yeah. He's big, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Come on, man. Oh, look at him climbing. Wow. 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 He's so angry. Yes. You don't want him to sting you. He just had yes. a fight with another one, <gasps> didn't he? He had a fight? Yeah. Can you see what you found, isn't it? What did you find? A dead in there. A what? A shed. A what? A shed? Oh my god, look at this! This is Steve Shack. Oh my god, look at this! What's all that on there? Candles! Oh wow! So you can come and light these at night? Oh what? The dart board. Ah, this is where you get all the fire logs and everything from, like in the kindling. Can you put the fire? What's that? Ash? Or... Wow. Get back then. Yeah. Yeah. These chairs are cute, aren't they? Yeah. This is awesome. When he said about Steve Shack yesterday, I didn't know what he was on about. Wow. Dart's board, look. Chalk. What's that? Balls. Make do some bowling. Board games and cards. Ah. Balls as well. Oh, yes. Did you find this place? Yeah. Good job. Good job with us, sad, isn't it? Oh yeah. And it was this son or something. Oh. It's a burner. Oh, this is awesome. There's all fairy lights up there as well, look. No, put it back, fairy. We've got to go now. Not today, maybe next time we go. Next time. Let's play it. No, we'll play next time. A drafts table at the back. Yeah.
So this place is called Steve's Shack um, and the guy Chris who showed us to our bell tent yesterday um, told us about Steve's Shack but we didn't actually come down and have a look at it but it's awesome yeah. I wonder if when we could hear voices if there were people in your park. So we could hear people talking no, last night. You can just see the other bell tent over by there. So there's a fair bit of distance between the bell tents and this is situated in the middle. They're living in you? Yeah. It's good if you're staying for a fair few days with kids, isn't it? This is so cool. I can't believe you found this. The chalk? Oh, you put ours on there. <laughs> is that ours in a hat? I was having a little tidy around in the bell tent and Paul and Noah went on a little walk down and found Steve's shack which is what we've just showed you. What a lovely little idea to put in the middle of the bell tents. Um, Noah didn't want to leave there then. Um, had a little game of pool, a quick game of pool, threw a couple of darts and um, yeah, just had a little look around there, it was lovely. Um, we're just packing up now, just gonna get everything back up to the car and then head off. It was lovely in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it's great. I'm we didn't see that last night. I know. Oh, Never mind. Could have gone and lit the candles and put the fire on in there. Well, I think the people from the other bell tent were yeah, there though, because we could hear there. people last night talking and the other bell tent's quite far away, so I think they must have probably been in there. We would have had to socialise then, Paul. No, can't, be. can't be doing that on holiday. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> you were the most sociable person I know, in you? Yep. <laughs> That's why I love him. <laughs> Did you like it in there? Yeah. It was cool, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Where are we going to go now? Where's your bottle of juice? So we just packed up. There's all our stuff. Where's your bottle of juice? been lovelier though. We only spent one night here but yeah just really peaceful, really chilled. It's a good refresh. Like I said yesterday, digital detox. Um, we were asleep probably by about 10 o'clock last night. Um, up at about half seven then this morning so yeah that's a really really good sleep. Um, I did keep waking up though and that's purely just because Noah was in the bed with us so like I said I was hanging off the bed. Um, but yeah, it was a really comfy bed. It was more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. Um, and I had a better sleep than I thought I was gonna have, which is always a bonus. Um, so yeah, I will link everything in the comments below and in the description. Um, I'll put the link in for this place because 
oh, I would just highly, highly recommend it, whether you're coming away as a couple, with a family, um, with a group of you. It does say there's a no um, sort of loud noise policy after nine o'clock because they do try and maintain a like nice, quiet, calm environment, yeah. Um, and I guess it's a lovely, lovely chance for you to just reconnect with nature and have that digital detox. It's been lush. Um, Noah's just run back off down to Steve's shack now, which is down there. Not sure if you can hear him screaming. That's probably him screaming because Paul's bringing him back. <laughs> no dad, are shouting? So yeah, Paul's bringing him back so we can go. Um, got another fun full day planned today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to vlog that in a separate vlog. We're going to head down to Port Isaac, which is about an hour and... I think it's about an hour and 20 minutes from here, something like that. But I am going to vlog that separately. Um, so thank you very, very much for watching our glamping vlog. It's been lovely. Please subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment. And if you want any more information about this place, Owl Valley Glamping, then just drop me a message and I'll let you know. Say mm -hmm. bye bye, Berg. Say bye. Bye, bye to our glamping tent. Bye bye. Bugs are called insects. That's right. Insects are bugs. Yeah. So I'm an insect. Wow.